but it's only that low because our graphics are just too high of quality. Of course, the footage behind me is not actually the graphics nor the gameplay because that's not what we do here at NeoCraft Limited. You... You don't mean I get to spend more money? Can you guys stop asking me to sponsor your game with your stupid automated systems? I have never said anything good about your game, and I probably never will. 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 Howdy. This is the Gene Machine. Coming at you live from the corner of my room. And hey, if you're new here, welcome. This channel and its content is focused solely on differentiating the good from the bad when it comes to mobile games through the use of their ads here on YouTube. And at the end, we go over why the advertisements shown today do what they do and show what they show. As always, if you enjoy the content that I make, feel free to subscribe. And if you don't enjoy the content that I make, well, your choice in the matter was never an option. You have to subscribe anyway. And yeah, that's the intro. Let's talk about Guardians of Claudia. Guardians of Claudia is a game on iOS and Android with well over a million downloads. The game is, of course, made by... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 dude. <sighs> this game is made by Neocraft Limited. Okay, here's the deal. If you're a seasoned veteran with this channel, you might possibly understand and share my hatred for this company. In my personal opinion, this is by far the worst big mobile game company out there. And funny enough, they only have three games. Three games, and I think they're one of the worst. If you'd like a full rundown on everything this company has done, I recently re-uploaded a video I made a long time ago regarding the company. I'll have it linked in the description, and it should also be on the top of the screen in a time card right about now. Anyway, this dog water company went ahead and released their next game, which is of course Guardians of Claudia, and as with every game they've released, it came jam-packed with terrible, and I mean terrible, ads. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get dressed for the occasion, and I say we take a look at the ads, shall we? Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. Oh. Uh oh, you guys are actually apologizing for your terrible advertisement practices? Well, I mean, no matter how bad you guys were, I'm always open to forgiving and forgetting. So, okay. I for- We're late. We're late. We're late. We're late. We're late. We were so concerned to fix every bug in the game, no matter how much time it will cost. Forgive us. Forgive us. <sighs> Forgive us. Forgive us. We can only compress the game to one gigabyte because of the graphics and the game content. Gameplay. It took us four years and four hundred, four hundred, four hundred people to complete the development. Finally, 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 launches today. Sorry for the delay. That, that last part. Did, did I hear it right? Hold on. But it deserves your waiting. Uh, that, that sounds like incredibly self-absorbed. The definition of deserve, right, is to be rewarded or punished for doing something. Obviously, in this case, rewarded. So they're implying that the game should be rewarded for you waiting? I, I don't even think that's a properly formatted sentence, dude. They could have said something like, I don't know. You deserve to play the game after all that waiting, or something like that. It's still obnoxious, but at least that made sense. Anyway, look, this ad, much like the rest of the ads I'm going to show, it sucks. They start the ad off by trying to apologize, which is obviously used as a tactic to capture the person's attention so that they don't skip the ad, but they're not actually apologizing for anything. I'm sure they didn't design this ad for the five people on their Facebook group that were actually waiting for the game. What you'll see in this next ad, as well as the following ads, is that they're all incredibly obnoxious. Despite spending half of the ad apologizing, they really just sat and bragged about their game the entire time, right? Here, I'm gonna rephrase the ad for you. Oh, we got rid of all the bugs, which, let's face it, probably isn't the case. We compressed our game to one gigabyte. Oh, wait, I'm getting word that our game is actually one megabyte below the gigabyte mark, so let's go ahead and put a big text box on the screen saying under one gigabyte, 
just to clarify and emphasize that as if anybody cares with their 128 gigabyte phones. But it's only that low because our graphics are just too high of quality. Of course, the footage behind me is not actually the graphics nor the gameplay because that's not what we do here at NeoCraft Limited. However, I'm feeling generous, so I'm going to show you the graphics and gameplay anyway. Oh, wait, sorry, that's Genshin Impact. Let me show you the real graphics and gameplay. Oh, wait, sorry again, that was Dawn of Isles. Here's the actual graphics and gameplay. <laughs> Pretty good, right guys? Anyway, in order to develop better gameplay, and by that I mean in order to make our autopath mechanic better so that you're not actually playing the game, it took us four hours and over four fucking people to figure out the best way to milk our players with our monetization system. Anyway, you get the point. Let's move on to the next ad, which somehow is even worse. Ladies and gentlemen, to those of you joining us from all over the world, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening! Today, I want to introduce to you our newest game, Guardians of Claudia. Since I was a child, I was always a big fan of Pokemon. So in this game, I can guarantee to you that you can collect all kinds of monsters for free! In addition, players can get all the resources in the game so they can evolve their monsters to mega form! Besides, this game is designed to be a real RPG game, which will be a carnival for all those good players. Strategically designed stage, plot twisting background stories, and challenging boss fights designed, and more. Believe me, you can find them all in Guardians of Claudia. To sum it up, this game is a perfect combination of monster collection and game role playing. If you're a fan of either types of games, stop hesitating and download Guardians of Claudia now! You know, before I even say anything about how awful this ad is, I'd just like to point out that the guy in the ad pitched his voice up for some reason. Forgive us. Good morning, good afternoon. <laughs> but anyway, I wasn't kidding when I said this ad was even worse. This guy has the guts to show himself on screen talking about how great the gameplay and graphics are all the while blatantly showing 100% fake gameplay in full screen. Like, literally not a single trace of actual gameplay is found in this ad. Let me remind you that this is what the game actually looks like. Now, if it wasn't obvious enough already, despite the fact that they would do this anyway because they're Neocraft Limited, they especially did this because they just spent their last two ads talking about how great their game is. So if they were to all the while show the actual game in the background, it wouldn't really live up to their claims, would it? And man, are these claims intense. Strategically designed stages that your character just auto-walks through. Plot twisting background stories as if you're not just going to skip every piece of dialogue in the game and challenging boss fights designed to urge you to spend more money. That's pretty much all I got out of this ad. Of course, I don't want to move on without mentioning the fact this guy green screened himself on a stage with a live audience. And might I mention, this certainly isn't the first time the company has done something like this. I mean, they literally green screened themselves on the Cyberpunk E3 panel with Keanu Reeves before. But it's just, I guess, sad to know that this company is clearly too blinded by money to care about their morals, because I'm sure you've seen all too well the negative reception they've gotten for these ads. On that note, actually, I'd like to take a moment in this video to let you know how you can do something about these ads. Unfortunately, YouTube isn't the best at getting rid of these kinds of ads on their own platform, most definitely because YouTube is directly profiting off of ads like these, but I digress. Despite this, despite this, YouTube just doesn't take the time to actively find these ads. However, we've seen time and time again from this channel based on past videos that after enough people have gathered together to report ads like these, we essentially provide the evidence to YouTube so that they can do... We essentially provide the evidence to YouTube so that they don't have to search. And so as a result, we as a community and as a team manage to get ads like these taken down. With that being said, it can only be done if it's done right. The best way you can report an ad is by heading to the Google Ad Report page. Of course, I have that linked in the description. From there, you can fill out the proper info and provide the link to the source ad. Now you might be thinking, 
What if I don't have the link to the source ad? And you should be right in thinking that. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't provide an easy way to get a link to the source ad you're watching if you're on your phone watching a video, which of course is how most people get these ads. This could very well be intentional on YouTube's part. They might possibly not want it to be too easy to get a source ads link, uh, considering they clearly don't want to lose a bunch of money. But I'm not YouTube. I'm the gene machine, so you can count on me to take care of that for you. The links to the source ads I showed prior to this will be linked in the description down below. If everyone watching this video follows these steps, providing of course that you feel these ads are worthy of being reported, but if everyone watching did this, these ads would be investigated 100% and likely removed for false and misleading information in no time. So feel free to help out if you'd like. Anyway, let's get back to the ads. <laughs> what are you doing right now? Uh, I'm doing my job. Sir. Obviously, you're playing a game. No, no, I'm sending a message to But well, I saw your phone is horizontal. I prefer to type mm, horizontal. Let me see your phone, please. Let me see your phone. Sure. Uh, Ooh, thank God. Mm. The screen is locked. <laughs> How did you get this SSR master pen off? Maybe you're on the play too? Hey bro, have you heard how to get Epic Gear and Super Rare Monsters? What? Oh yeah, it's all about that promo code. Just type in GOC777 and get some, brother! Listen. I've pretty much gotten my point across with these ads, so I'm just going to spend the rest of this time making fun of them instead. So here goes. <clears throat> <laughs> what are you doing right now? What are you doing, step bro? Thank God, screen is locked. Damn, Daniel! Whoa, dude, how did you get a panda? Well, you see boss, despite having a family to feed, approximately half of the total salary I get from this job goes to this game. That is indeed how I got the panda. Hey bro, have you heard how to get Epic Gear and Super Rare Monsters? What? You, you don't mean I get to spend more money? GOC777. Huh, that, that actually kind of sounds familiar. Oh no. I -H -7 -7 -7. Um, this way please. Sorry sir, players with OBR are not allowed in. My, my BR size is, it's average. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> At least a hundred thousand. You're such a snob. I think it would be funnier if I just censored out what he said, so let me do that. <laughs> At least a hundred thousand. You're such a Wait and see what's gonna happen. Oh, I will. Is that enough? That's insane. How can you boost your BR to 300k that fast? Listen up, buddies. Listen up, buddies. I just took a loan from the bank and bought everything in the shop. I should call the manager of this game. It's just too generous. I... I hate that. I, I hate everything about what she just said right there. <laughs> Look. If I talk any more about these ads, I'm probably going to lose my sanity. So let's just end this off by saying this game and every other game that comes from Neocraft Limited currently and have in the past made ads depicting fake and misleading gameplay or have just been outright obnoxious with their ads. I would hope each and every one of you watching know that they are doing this to lure in people who either fall for it or just who don't care. If you are currently someone who doesn't care, please just remember that that's what they want from you. That's why they make these ads. If you want to help keep ads like these off of YouTube, you don't even have to go as far as to report the ads. All you have to do is just not bother downloading the game. Every time they get an extra download, it only fuels their motivation to keep their marketing up like this. Besides that, their game isn't fun, and the 1 and 2 star views for this game certainly don't lie. Simply put, it's not worth your time. Oh. And one more thing, can you guys stop asking me to sponsor your game with your stupid automated systems? I have never said anything good about your game, and I probably never will. You know what? Actually, I'll do your sponsorship, okay?
Neocraft Limited. Never play their games. Their games suck, their ads are deceptive, and they smell bad. Boom, there's your sponsorship. This video has been sponsored by Piss. Mmm, Piss. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching the video. Here's the part where I say thank you so much to everyone out there who supported this channel to 5,000 subscribers. Over the course of this channel's lifespan up until this point, we've gotten over a dozen ads removed on YouTube, and I can say it was us who did that with confidence, because we have seen ads from over a year ago getting removed weeks after a video talking about it is uploaded. I certainly don't think that's any kind of coincidence. And as well, if over a dozen seems quite low to you, first, I would personally disagree, but more importantly, that number will only grow bigger as our community grows bigger. As such, I encourage you to report the ads I show on this channel, to leave your feedback regarding the channel, or to give suggestions. I encourage you to post the links to source ads you find yourself on our Discord to help make videos. And finally, I encourage you to show your support by leaving a like and comment on videos, or by subscribing if you're new. Every action counts towards the progression of this channel, and in no time, we can start seeing our ultimate goal one day of fake mobile game ads such as the ones I show on my channel becoming far and few between. Again, thank you guys for all of the support, and hey, stay real.